Hello YouTubers, this is Fedor again. Here's another tutorial on how to use this OLED uh, display with the four different libraries. And um, here let me show you. So here are the libraries. So all of these. And um, here are some of the different code on how to, how to, how to draw all these um, rectangles and stuff. But here, let me show you like a quick background. So I have a rectangle. I have a filled-in rectangle. Then I have a rectangle with a rounded edge. Then I have a filled-in rectangle with a rounded edge. Then I have a circle that's filled in, a triangle, and a triangle that's filled in, and a circle that's not filled in, and just a regular line. And the way you would display these on a screen is, here's a quick thing I drew for the rectangle. Um, there is a um, there's a coordinates where you want this square to start. So you have the X coordinates and the Y, and then you have the width and you have the height. So you, you position it on your screen. Here's the screen. And then you have 0, 0 here, uh, 0 to 60, uh, 128, sorry. And then 0, wait, I have, I have these backwards. It's uh, 128, 0, and 0, 64. And then right here you have six, uh, 128, 64. So here's a coordinate system. So whatever you want to put it, and it, and the uh, the initial one it starts here. So uh, on this rectangle, this is a reference uh, reference um, point. So here's the code. Um, if you look at this line over here, you have a uh, uh, display draw rectangle, you have the x coordinates, you have the y coordinates, and then you have the width, the height, and then the color you want to draw, which will always be white. Um, like instead of these x's and y's, you actually put numbers in, and then for the width and the height, you put in the numbers as well. So I want it to be 30 pixels uh, wide and 50 pixels high. And then, this is not, this is not it, but here's some of the drawn ones I have. And this is how it looks like. My uh, my screen is um, two different colors. That's why it's yellow on top and blue on the bottom. And there's nothing I can do to change it. But I wired up these potentiometers. If you look at my earlier video, I can uh, control that sphere. You can see it moving around. If I move this one, it would go down or down this way. And then move it to the right. And move it up. Oops. If I just twist these knobs, I can move it up and down. So to draw, um, to draw a rectangle, you would type this in, this display, draw a rectangle, your coordinate systems, your height, and I mean your width and your height, and then the color. To draw a rectangle that is filled in, it's the same thing. You have to change this to fill rectangle, and everything else the same. Then I have a draw a rectangle with the, with the draw a round rectangle over here. This one's a little bit different because you have the x coordinates, the y coordinates, you have the width and you have the height, and then over here you have roundness of edge, uh, which is three over here. If you look at here, here's the round rectangle. So you have the width, you have the height, you have the reference points, and the roundness of edge is how big of a space here that you want it rounded. Like see over here, you can see that those there's like a little bit rounded edge to them, to this one and that one. And this is flush, so how big of a roundness do you want? So the bigger the number, the more round it will be. So you'd be like, you know, let me draw one right here. So it'd be like this. It's more like a loaf of bread or something. I can't really draw, but there it is. Then you can also do the uh, fill round rectangle. And you have, of course, the x coordinates, the y coordinates. You have the width. Uh, you want 30 wide or whatever you want this number to be. Height, whatever you want this number to be roundness of edge, wherever we want this number to be, and the color, uh, let me move this down, and uh, the color, you can either put uh, 0 or a 1 um, for that, or you can just type in white, I think, yeah, and then to draw a triangle, um, here's the code for that, but let me show you some about triangles. Triangles have three points. 
So you have x1, y1, x2, y2, and x3, y3. So whenever you uh, would draw a triangle, you have the x, x1, y2, I mean y1, y2, I mean x2, y2, um, x3, y3, and then the color. I have it written down right here too. So that's how you would uh, graph the triangle. And I have two triangles. I have the regular triangle and a filled in triangle. And here's the code on, a, on my Arduino. Uh, let's see, it is right over here. I have the draw uh, display dot draw triangle. Uh, X1 coordinates is 25, Y1 is 40, X2 coordinates is 1, Y2 is 60, X3 coordinates is 20. Uh, y3 coordinates is 60 and then the color white and then to fill in triangle I have the x1 coordinates 30 y1 40 x2 uh, 35 y2 60 x3 50 and y let me move this down a little bit and then uh, y3 60 and then the color white and here's those two triangles you have the uh, here's the x1, x1 on top, x2, x3, and then x1, x2, and 3, and they're graphed. Now, to graph these uh, circles and s these circles, uh, circle is, you know, basic circle. You have the center point of a circle, you have the x-coordinates and a y-coordinates, and also you have the radius, how big the circle is. And here it is on, where's my mouse, to draw a circle you have the x coordinates, the y coordinates, and the radius. This is in, in the, all of this, all of these numbers are in the pixels. So this is pic 50 pixels in radius, which is a pretty big circle compared to a small screen. And also you have the option of a fill circle, and this will be a circle filled in, and same thing. You have the x coordinates, you have the y coordinates, and you have the radius. And then the last one is to draw a simple line. So let me show you just in case you don't know your geometry too well for these you have a line with a x1 and y y1 coordinates and x2 and y2 coordinates so you can you can put that line anywhere you want to you just need two points with your just two uh, with your coordinates for them and you can graph any line and my line happens to be over here you can see it's kind of slanted a little bit and if you look at the code There is my line. X1 coordinates is 90, Y1 is 50. Um, let me move this down. And then X2 is 120, and Y2 is 55. And of course, the color is white. That stays white for all of them. And on this one, well, here it is graphed. And also, this uh, filled in circle, as you can see, I can move it around with this potentiometer. I can move the move it in the x direction, and with this potentiometer, I can move it in the y direction. And if you look at my previous videos, I show you how to do that. And what I did is I, I typed in for my coordinates is I just typed in x and y, and then these x and and y are derived from this right here, because I have the analog inputs zero and one over here analog inputs 0, 1, they are red and the values are stored in here and it reads them on a loop and then this map is a really cool little function it, because the analog inputs read from 0 to 123 so it breaks those down and maps it from, instead of that, it maps it to one from 0 to 128 for the x coordinates and then for the y coordinates is it maps it from 0 to 64 because for the y coordinates, my screen is only 64 uh, pixels in width, and for my x coordinates is uh, 128 pixels in width. And that's how you would do that. If you have any questions or anything, so here's my little screen of all of all the shapes graphed, and I already showed you the code. Let me just scroll through the whole thing that you can kind of see. So I have the four libraries over here. And some minor little things you gotta do. 
and then over here whenever you begin a display make sure that if you're using this current display you got to put this to the hexadecimal of 3c if uh, you can do 3d for a different type of display and then this right here clears the displays when it want to set up and then of course whenever you do whenever you do uh, over here at the bottom display display that throws it on a screen and it holds it on the screen for five seconds and then it clears the display and that's it have any questions comment concerns thank you so much